The Trap Tarot Minister presents to you another sugar-free production. back with another reading today we're going to be discussing how do men be you so um if you have a specific man on your mind we will channel for that particular person at the end of the reading but we're going to look at how men view you in both romantic and platonic settings because i understand that not everybody that views this is coming to this um as a person that is interested in men romantically so let's see my final view is how do men do them in their platonic connections and for my pal, one view is how do men view them in their romantic connections? Okay, passive uh, to a certain degree. Classy, okay. Nonetheless, I feel like men view you as a classy person because you guys pull both Spinderella and you also pull my girl Sweetie. So I think that people um, view you as somebody that could have anybody that you wanted, um, but not pressed about like male attention. Um, I think that whether you're straight or not, gay men find you to be very like fashionable. Okay, it doesn't matter. Gay men specifically find you to be fashionable. Um, I think men, straight men too, but gay men, it's a compliment if they find you fashionable. It's not really a compliment if a straight man finds you to be fashionable. Uh, at least not to the extent that it is when a gay man thinks that you you the shit. So I mean, at least that's my opinion. I'm biased. So where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I don't taste anything. I don't taste sugar, cinnamon. Not me, milk, not. Uh, but I think that your platonic connections, men view you with this Spinderella energy. I feel like men view you as someone that has great music taste, someone that's very like um, cool to be around, like someone that they pro they have an attraction to, right? Um, or they could see why other people would be attracted to you. I think that even if the straight men around you, if you're a straight male, I feel like men still, generally speaking, can find you. They're like, okay, I can understand why so-and-so gets played. Like, they find you to be attractive, okay? Like, that's just what it is. They might even, like, their body might react in ways that their mind disagree with. I feel like you're just one of those people that's just very attractive. Even if you're, like, male or female, it doesn't matter, non-binary. Uh, but I think that males particularly find you to be someone who has a balance of both the feminine and masculine energy. You have the best of both worlds is what I'm hearing and what they're, that's what they're telling me. I think male and females, uh, well, males specifically find you to um, be someone that's... They like your voice. They can listen to you talk. They could also say that you're someone, or they could view you as somebody that possibly um, turns things, remixes things. So people might find you to be someone who like kind of, um, like in your platonic connections, they could view you as someone who kind of like stretches the truth. 
okay or they could feel like that you're somebody that like harps on things like you could be a knacker like your plate the minute your platonic life they feel like that you kind of like hold grudges okay they could also be your stifter you're the one that can like have facts to keep facts and to hold people accountable like oh no i didn't forget just because you stopped talking to me for those amount of like months or that amount of time i didn't forget why we stopped talking in the first place and just because you decided we want to talk about it then don't mean i forgot we can talk about it now <laughs> it's kind of given that and your romantic connections though okay um I guess I won't timestamp because I feel like I'm jumping around. Okay, so I guess I just won't timestamp it um, in that capacity. It feels like that for your romantic connections, men view you as somebody that is very attractive. Um, someone that's very career driven, someone who doesn't have to work. You can just be pretty and exist, or you can just be handsome. Just you don't have to work, you don't have to go as hard as other people because you have pretty privilege, whether you're masculine or feminine, it does not matter. Men view you as somebody that can get what they want by simply just being like people. They view you as someone that everybody is attracted to. They view you as someone that can have anybody that they want. They can view you as someone who also has the means or the hustle to go get the things that they want. They also view you as someone as a go getter, okay? So, um, they view you uh, uh, romantic options like male options they meet with someone that has um, went against the grain somebody who has great somebody who has started from the bottom and worked their way up even though you have people in your family who are probably successful you're not someone one that acts for hands out and they admire that about you if you are um, interested in romantic or romantic interest in regarding masculines they view you definitely as somebody that is unique ahead of their time undervalued they feel like people be hating on you it's like people be hating on you because you're pretty and you're classy or you're handsome and you're classy and you just don't do drama um you could be a musician of some sort you don't have to be or they could just be a vibe surrounding people they could I, they could literally see people be weird with you or downplay things that you do like you said trends and people copy you and they notice that okay they might not say anything with masculines that are romantically interested in you they notice that people start doing things differently um when you when you start to set trends okay the name isaiah or xavier can be significant because it just popped up on my phone um but Romantic interests feel like when you start doing things, it becomes popular and that makes them more attractive to you. They also feel like you're one that moves gracefully after breakup, so they don't hear you bashing them afterwards. Um, you might, and I feel like you're, you're one who could be cordial people. It's like you are someone that moves on in grace. You're not a bitter ex. They view you as someone romantic. Men, men that are romantically interested in you, they view you as, uh, or that you're romantic interested in men who are like have a romantic connection with you in any way, in any capacity, past, present, or future. They view you as someone who just moves with grace. You're not stressed about anything. You're not going to lose integrity, or you're not going to lose um, yourself behind a man. It's just not happening. They view you as that type of person. In your platonic connection, they view you as somebody they keep it like cordial. Okay. They definitely view you as somebody that, um, uh, your platonic connections, they view you as somebody that probably tell them the same thing. They probably look at you like, oh, you tell the style of niggas you talk to. It's kind of giving that, or like you give them, like you read them off a script, or you you keep shit very minimal with men. Like you, you only say what needs to be said. You keep conversation very short, okay? That's what I feel like men would say. Um, how do men view them and their platonic connections for part one? Six of Cups of Verse, possibly somebody who um, has like childhood trauma. Like, I don't even think it's just daddy issues. I feel like daddy and mommy issues, and you kind of like laugh uh, about your trauma, and they kind of be feeling sorry. Kind of like, damn, how I went through, went through that. It's kind of fucked up. And he's just making a joke about it, but they feel like you're creative, and you're also somebody that throws nice parties. You could be very like thought out, and like, like you remember shit, you know? It's like, you might be the first person to buy your best your male best friend a birthday gift. You might be the first girl to do something like that. You're that type of person. And they remember things like that. And it, it it's like people think you're sweet. Platonic connections men feel like you're very nice. And they also are very protective over you with the six of cups. I feel like a lot of men look at you as like a lot of the men that you friend zone, they would date you if they could, but they know that they can't. Um but some of them, okay, for my, you know, for those who aren't interested in masculine, I can also see an energy surrounding where some men, they could view you as somebody that they, like, they would, like, ride it out for. So, so you might have some friends, some masculine friends, some male friends that um, literally will go to work behind you. And they, they love you like brother or sister, you know? It's like that, okay? How do men view power one and their platonic connections? 
the queen of wands okay maybe you was very attractive very creative someone who possibly is into magic or you just have like really good luck things just go your way maybe you were smart attractive a triple threat kind of like tricky it's scary though it's like somebody that they would want a partner to be like them somebody that they would want to, like if you're like or somebody that if you're a masculine and this is like other oh, straight man this is like uh energy store or maybe you're a lesbian or something like that whatever the case may be this could also be energy surrounding you could be someone that gets a lot of play like you could you, you just keep the baddies around you like you only try or all the baddies want you it's like you seem to be very lucky okay or there could be an aries in particular that the people are noticing that has an attraction towards you an aries female or you could be an aries female and they feel like that you suit your zodiac sign you act just like an aries woman or they could be Aries woman that they they associate you with, and they feel like oh that's yeah they want like men probably look at you whoever you're with if you're in a relationship if you have somebody that you know like that you publicly that you talk about they feel like y'all are a perfect match and you lucky to have this person it's like um or if you're a female or if you're a woman um i feel like or non-binary whatever the case may be if you're not masculine you don't identify with being a male specifically they view you with somebody that is like ambiguous like you kind of have like a look you probably go back and forth between like a time you probably change your swag your style or your swag a lot um your hair a lot you probably do a lot you probably are jack of all trades um you could also be very like jittery like silly um you could also be somebody because before i got on camera i put on i changed my lipstick so you guys, they could be with somebody that's like really good with makeup or really like into or keen to like your physical appearance. Okay, you could care about those type of things. They feel like you have like, you have a very beautiful face. People feel like that, generally speaking. But masculines definitely notice that about you, that you have a very, like you glow. They notice that you have a glow about you. They notice that you think differently. You see the world differently than other people. People notice that about you when they meet you. And men specifically find you to be very intelligent. Like, okay, I can learn something from Power One. That's how men view you, Power One. Okay, how do men view Power One and their romantic connections? Not pressed. Okay, so there's a lot of people from your past, a lot of men from your past, or just men in general, either 11, 11 o'clock. There could be a twin flame connection that you walked away from where this person feels like you just absolutely like people feel like when you move on, it ain't no second guessing. Men feel like your romantic interest is like, oh, it didn't work out with you, I'm not stressed, I'm moving on to the next thing. People feel like you don't waste time finding a new partner. Uh, people oftentimes question, men oftentimes question if you really like them in the first place, or you could just be a straight male, or you could be a lesbian where they just know you just don't like them. It's like, mm, well. Well, there's that uh, because there's eight of cups being present with the two of cups in reverse it's like we could have been and it feels like there's a lot of, it's not much harping it's like oh, i'm about to roll you up and forget about you uh for those of you who don't know about that it's like i'm finna smoke a i'm finna smoke a blunt I smoke a wood and forget that we even talked it's like people feel like they're one of many romantic options and men they feel like that you have a lot of options you can have whoever you want confirming what i had stated earlier they might be you with somebody that's too good to be true with the ten of cups in reverse that men instantly want to know what's the catch when it comes to you um, when it comes to romantic offers they might also feel like and it might be weird if you have a sibling that you look a lot like or you know or a daughter uh people think about like i don't know if you have a sibling they probably think about you and your sibling in like a weird way they probably find both of you guys to be attractive um not just the one particular person or people could just find that like oh damn who or they just find you to be like somebody that generally speaking people want to have kids with you or men think about um like your family like your genes they think about like how you would have not attractive children uh, or they would have pretty kids with you or like how they um i don't know you make beautiful kids or that you have strong genes um you could also just look a lot like your father figure or you could look a lot like your like you could like look a like a, a lot like your parents and they notice that about you romantic interest they notice that you look a lot like your parents and they love that about you they feel like you're beautiful they also feel like you're somebody that knows how to play games so they might feel like you're a player um i feel like your romantic interest they might also feel like you're someone who uses them to escape or heal from other things so that might be a lot of people who feel like well power one doesn't really like people they just kind of use people as placeholders to heal from other things and that's how your romantic options view you regarding men men view you as the uh someone who's like okay what do i need right now like i have a man who does this who pays this bill i have a man who wrote my feet i got a man who eat my pussy on the weekends i got a man who do that like men view you as that type of person okay or men view you um 
as someone who just has a lot of options, but they're not one of the options. Like the industry surrounding, like, okay, they have a lot of play, but they're not interested in men, uh, for example. It's like something like that. Or um, some men could view you as someone that um, you just don't see their efforts. You don't see how deeply they care about you, okay? I could see where men could feel like that maybe you switch up your energy. Like you can go from being super lovey to just being cordial. I feel like you're the type of person that could fuck somebody and work with them and walk past them like you don't know them. Or you used to talk to somebody, date them, or you're not running around town saying, oh, I used to date so-and-so. But they're running around town saying they used to date you. It's like a lot of energy starting to cross my eyes and down my T's. People can also feel like you seduce them. Like you just have a real mature way of talking niggas out they draws. is how they be feeling. Men can feel like it takes a lot to push you away, but once you go, you go. That's how I feel like men and romantic connections feel about you. It's like you be head over heels, but people never know when you go walk away and what time will be the last time. Because I feel like you tolerate a lot or because you're nice at the comedy of your heart. You love hard, but when you're done, it's it's a it's a wrap for you, babe. That's what it's giving, honey. Like I'm not finna waste no time stressing about you. I'm it's like I'm not pretty spooky. It's like. Hmm. Disappointed but not surprised. Oh well. It's like what Gucci Mane say, miss one next but same one coming. It's giving that. And motherfuckers know that they're replaceable around this bitch. Just know that. Niggas know that. They feel that. So you might um notice that in regard to romantic situations, men might not even try to make advancements towards you. Cause they just feel like you can have what you want regardless. Like you have your way with everything. Even in platonic situations, you might even notice that like People want to be your friend. Like, even as, like, a, like a, I don't know, say you a lesbian male or a lesbian woman, obviously, or you identify as male or you're a straight male. Men could probably really want to be your friend type shit, like, really want to be close to you because it's like they feel like they can learn something from you. They feel like they can learn game from you. They feel like they can learn how to get played. They feel like they can learn how to be creative. They feel like they can learn how to dress. Like, people notice that you take care of shit. And, like, the way you take care of yourself, it attracts other people. Like, men notice that about you. Men notice that you have a lot of feminine characteristics around and like you probably don't like you're real very well kept and men notice it about you. It's like men would describe you as somebody who's clean, well kept, a unique sense of fashion that switches up, like you don't have one style. I feel like they would describe you as somebody that's um, a soulmate, somebody that's very sweet, very compassionate, because just as I was looking, the two of clubs fit over very nicely and gently. Somebody that teaches people what love means. You could be a really good friend, like a really, really good friend. Even in your relationships, you're just very easy going. And men feel that about you. They also feel like you're somebody that's really chill. Um, they feel like you're someone that possibly hides your emotion. Like you could be going through a lot, but you won't tell nobody or ask for help. But you're always there to be dependent on somebody else. Somebody that knows how to do a lot of shit too. Like you always got your head in multiple pops. It's like you, they look up and you got a whole new business. Or you're on something else. Or you're in another relationship. It's like people might view you as like unpredictable. That's how I feel like men look at you. Now, regarding the man on your mind, let's see how this person views you. How does the man on Power One's mind view Power One? Like you still thinking about them, but not in the um, ooh, 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 I miss Power One's person. It's not giving it. It's getting more so like, hmm, okay. Do I want to talk to this person? Or do I want to leave them past? They feel like you're debating on leaving them in the past uh, with the Four of Swords. If the King of Swords in reverse, um, I think this person views you as someone that possibly wants to get revenge. Um, they do think, like, what? how they view you as someone that has, like, a toxic connection to them. They feel like that you love them unconditionally. But it's like, in spite of that, I got to stay my business. This is my kill Bill card. And she loved Bill. But Bill did some unforgivable shit. And it's like, as much as I love you. I gotta, I, I gotta like get revenge now. This person feels like that you gotta kinda, I don't know, they feel like that you love them and you'll always love them. They probably feel like that you watch your social media, you keep up with them or they're hoping that at least. They feel like that you will always love for them, always have passion for them, but it's also like silent get back. They feel like you've gotten your lick back and it's more so in regards to like, you gonna see me doing better. You gonna see me happy. Uh, I feel like this person here views you as somebody that possibly doesn't know how to deal with your emotions. 
they probably feel like you're somebody that doesn't know how to express your emotions when you like somebody. Uh, they possibly view you as somebody that parties or just, just doesn't know how to have a, a, like a deeper connection. They possibly view you as somebody that only wants something surface level, at least with them, or nothing at all. They feel like you like to party, or you have a lot of fun, or you just go out a lot, or you are someone that's very friendly, very kind, but they also feel like you're very naive. This person could wonder why you trust them so much or why you even like them. I feel like they view you as someone who possibly doesn't know their worth, okay? Um, they view you as somebody who has a lot of power or who, they could have them whenever you want them, but you're deliberately not acting on it. Like, or you could have this person in your space and you could, you could tell this person, when I, when I move, you move. When I say jump, you say hi, hi, and do you want me to change shoes type shit. And they would do it. And they feel like you know this about them, but you're you're still like hesitant about acting out. It's like something about you could, I don't know, you're masculine, you're straight. This is like, they know you're the leader of the group, but you don't overexert your power, even though you make the most money out your friends, even though you're the biggest boss, even though you're you know, not one of them. They know that you could do that, but you don't sun them. And they, they recognize that. Uh, if this is romantic, <laughs> it's interesting. I just seen a fight card. Um, but this is on the bottom of the deck, Trina. It's like, here we go, here we go again. It's kind of like Trina was in love with Lil Wayne. It's kind of giving that type of vibe, but it's Trina, you know? So, maybe you somebody that don't need them, but you want them. I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, but I want you. It's giving that. They might be you with somebody that got it bad for them. And they don't know why. They feel like you're someone that um, possibly, they probably view you as somebody that they, they ruined or they hurt or they messed up to a certain degree or like maybe they are changing you. They possibly feel like, that's like good girl gone bad. And I'm hearing, um, say, you can't save me from myself by sir. So this person's pretty toxic. Um, and they feel like they do feel remorse and they do feel like they whatever's coming towards them They trying to like stop you from being able to hurt you. but they know that one day they gonna serve some karma for how they treated you They know that you will be vindicated and they think about that a lot when it comes to you How does power the man on power one's mind view power one? Sexy, okay, let's salt and pepper, but I almost said crazy sexy cool so uh could be like that. It's like an interesting, like real chill. And we got Spinderella earlier. So it's like you and this person could have started out as friends, but they view you as somebody that's very hot. You can have what you want. You can have who you want. They feel like you're exploring your sexuality, but you're also still cool. It's like you chill. It's like, I don't know. They view you as interesting. I will say that. How does the man on power one's mind view power one? order somebody that don't play that shit it's nikki d bro um they view you as somebody that demands respect you possibly are like a tomboy but every now and then you dress like super cute you know or they probably view you as somebody that you know you probably just be chilling you know but you don't it's like you probably like the fuck or you probably get a lot of play but you just kind of you got things you got your you don't let your love life interfere with your money you when you feel like that your love life is taking too much of your energy that generally speaking they just feel like you just cut shit out you're not afraid to go cold turkey on somebody it's easy easy for you okay how does power the man on power one's mind mind view power one how does the man on power one's mind view power one Connectivity, raw digger. I was kind of giving like this person might be you as somebody that is a social media influencer. Okay, they might be you as somebody that uh, we have the Eve chance. Yeah, this is like reminding me when Eve like finally um, left Stevie J because he caught her with Mimi and Mimi did, he did some foul shit and named his daughter with the side chick Mimi Eva and then they got married. And it's like he gave her the life she wanted, but she ended up winning in the end. You know, now he coked out, depressed. You know, paying I don't know how much in child support. Half his kids hate him, just stressed out. Because he wants to be a slime ball. You know, and she's married, living life, changed her life, reformed, happy, things of the nature. I said, this person views you with somebody like that they was doing stupid shit and they fucked over and they could have had a better life with. But it's like, they didn't want to make the change. And they view you as somebody that probably always have love. It's like you got you. This person might be first or something like that, or you you and this person could be like um, 
don't know. There's something about y'all. Y'all have a history where y'all have a it's like it can never be duplicated. Whatever y'all had together, whatever bond y'all have, you and this person. Um, this person views it as like something that can't be just this ain't no cookie cutter shit like this some homegrown like this some deep shit that y'all got it can't it can't be replaced but at the same time why would you want to replace it because they understand that they kind of bring you down or they have brought you down in the past okay how did, what is this person's thoughts of power one this man on person power one's mind what is this person's thoughts of power one They think that you're intuitive okay they think that you are somebody that um you just know that, that you can have better and you're not settling okay they also think that you're somebody that look and sees through them and it scares them divine lineage they think you're very protected they think they're facing karma for how they treated you um how does power the man on power one's mind view power one i told you they feel like you watch their social media they also feel like that, um, <laughs> like, it's kind of like an energy surrounding you're very connected to, like, spirit. And when you see something you don't like, you send a, you send a demon on them. It's like, they feel like you just, you scared this person. I would say that. Um, they think that you're thinking about how, when or how you're going to reach out to them. They feel like you're plotting on, like, if you should reach out or contact them. They think that you're that you want to have sex with them. They think you're attracted to them sexually and romantically. They think that you, they view you as um, a soulmate. They're very attracted to you. They view you as somebody that they have to have courage to talk to because they know that if you were to ever have a conversation with them, that you would confront them, and that you might want to know some information about the past. Um, this person is thinks about. I feel like this person watches you a lot. And this person probably is scared to come towards you because it's like they observe you and it's like they if you was talk to them, they would know more than what they should know for the amount of time y'all haven't been talking. And I think this person knows that it'll be obvious. It'll be obvious they stalk you. Yeah. <laughs> like this person here, how they view you with somebody that is to yourself and they feel like it's cruel that you don't want to talk to them anymore. Whatever the fuck, like. I don't know, I guess we'll be some Otero. How does this person, this man on power one's mind view power one? Like you found them out and you've healed and moved on. It's like on to the next. Yeah, they just feel like you now it's your turn. Oops, <laughs> you outside power one? So with that being said, I love you guys for the money back and around. So this is your reading, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. What's good? Let's get into it. We're gonna pull some cards to see how the men view you. We're gonna channel both for romantic and platonic connections. I was gonna timestamp, but I'm just kind of going through like both of them meshing at the same time. So let's see. How does Pal Two? How do men view Pal Two in their platonic connections? How do men view Pal Two in their platonic connections? Funny as fuck. Random, silly, says whatever's on your mind. Okay, they feel like you're eccentric. They feel like you dress very unique. They feel like you're also somebody that's very intelligent and you kind of make like jokes that kind of like, I feel like your jokes are funny when they first hear them and then when they think about them, they're still funny. It's like, they feel like you're very quick with it. Very creative too. Like men feel like you're very, very creative. Like very very creative like how did they think about that and they also feel like that you do the most when you get dressed but they like it though it's like you're the type of person that are like wear a mink to the grocery store but they liked it about you though it's like you just overdressed all the time and they like that about you um how do men view power one and their romantic connections excuse me how do men view power two and their romantic connections excuse me 
Oh, leadership, like the breadwinner, um, creative, talented, animated, sexy, um, nervous, shy, temperamental, jealous, um, freaky. <laughs> um, they view you as someone that's very focused on work. Someone that is very good with children, but you're probably like you probably don't have kids right now. Uh, or you probably waited a long time to have kids. They view you as somebody romantic and romantic options regarding men. They view you as a boss. But like like somebody that's very ambitious and you're not gonna get in between me and my money. Somebody that speaks up and speaks out and expresses their how they feel no matter what. Um and no matter who you're around, like bitch, I'll give you the I'll mug you in front of your mama. The fuck? I don't give a damn. Um, but also somebody that spoils their lovers, also somebody that defends their lovers, like no matter what, right, like right or wrong, I'll check the shit behind closed doors, but in front of people, we're a unit, unit and ain't nobody for talking about my baby in front of me. That's how men view you romantically. Uh, platonically, they just feel like you're very funny, very creative, um, very attractive. They feel like you're very fun to be around. Like you're just the life of the party, is what I want to say. Think of a man in particular, and we're gonna channel that man's energy at the end of the reading. If you have a man on your mind. How do men view pal one and their platonic connections? Excuse me, how do men view pal two and their platonic connections? We have the five pinnacles and love was reversed. You might be like a popular loner, kind of. It's like somebody that they want to get to know more, but you're just very surface level. I do feel like if you, men feel like it's hard to get, like you might be weird and you might, they might want to get to know you, might want to be your friend, but it's kind of like you will cut somebody off quick. You might, men, your platonic male friends might also feel like when you get in a relationship, you don't give them attention. Uh, they could feel like that you put, I don't know, that you make things awkward or that they could feel as though um, maybe you have an attraction to them that they don't reciprocate or it could be energy surrounding I don't know I'm not really getting that they partners could be jealous of you that could be what it is you could be somebody that's very attractive very well like flirtatious because you're coming off as an Aries you're coming across somebody that's very flirtatious very fun very entertaining somebody they love to be around but they can't when they're in a relationship because they know it's going to trigger their partners even if it's like a straight male connection, it doesn't matter. They just notice like you're the friend that they don't want to introduce to their relate their partner. Either because you're more attractive than they are, uh, or you're, you could be bisexual, lesbian. They could just feel that way, like you gonna steal a partner, or it's the energy surrounding like you too lit. Their partner will get jealous and judge them because of the lifestyle you live. So I'm hearing birds and for the fox together, but I'm also getting feeling like there's energy surrounding like people get intimidated because it's like it's no way you're just friends with power one. It's no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, there could also be energy surrounding your friends could feel like that you choose like your male friends could feel like you choose poor choices in love uh, or platonic connections met friends or family like males in your life feel like that you should be in a healthy relationship you could have whoever you wanted to but you're settling that maybe you have a bad luck streak regarding the, your romantic relationship yo I was 20 in high school for real yeah just kept fading those retakes it was just fun exactly might as well what an embarrassment. How do uh, men view Pal 2 and their romantic connections? Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody who possibly doesn't know uh, their work or their beauty or the, that they can have anybody they want. Somebody that possibly settles in their connections. So that could be the truth. You possibly do settle a lot with men and you shouldn't. Okay, because this is kind of giving Safari and Nikki energy and we all could see that that wasn't going to work, honey. This is SB and this is the Save Me Remix. Oh. I walk five miles just to slap you and that myself ratted games what you play with my damn head but you no know these are ignorant mad man try and you will end up dying i mean dead pam pam save me save your blood clot save me save your blood clot um it's like that like she has had some questionable 
partners regarding the people she's dated, but that doesn't take away from who she is, you know, as a person, as an artist. It's like people probably feel like, this, I don't know, it's like you like them, I love them, but they don't care for your partner. Like people love you, okay, Proud too. People love you as a person, but for some reason, people just have this bias against who you choose to date or your partner. They don't really care for this person. People feel like that you can do better than the people that you date. Ten of Cups, confirmation, okay? Uh, and the romantic connections, how do men view Pao The emperor, the breadwinner, the boss, the leader, the head of the household, uh, somebody that don't need them. World card, somebody that don't need them. I love it because she got her own, it's giving it. Um, they be with a well-rounded person, a very complete person, somebody that you don't want to piss off though. Because when you go off, baby, you go off. Be honest, you're beneath me, you will always be. Don't ever get it twisted. You know how to cut some motherfucker off and make their head spin, make them rethink life in the corner, knees to chest, like, damn, the fuck? Um, they could also be you somebody that's very neat, very militant, very organized, very serious. Like, you go after the things that you say you want. If you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. That's how men view you and about their romantic connections. They feel like you're a go-getter and they love the shit about you. Your hustle turns men on. Um, I feel like they feel like you're sexy and they feel like they probably don't get to have sex with you as often as they would like. They could feel like that you present yourself as more sensual than what you actually are behind closed doors. Not to say that you aren't freaky, but it just feels like a lot of people feel like you might make people wait because I'm hearing big for it. Is that like a... Um, is that a Chris Breezy song? I believe so. But they can feel like you hold out, okay? I don't know. Something about you being tidy. Like, you don't know. You could get turned off if somebody comes to your house and they don't take their shoes off or something like that. People just not neat. Like, you could just be somebody that gets to eat real fast in relationships. But they could feel like you're a little bossy in a sense. Like, you know what's best and you kind of delegate or you make orders. And you don't ask, you just tell a nigga what he gonna do, <laughs> romantically. You can fucking handle me? Really, let's see. Yeah. Now I'm the bossy bitch. If I get in your face like this mm -hmm. and say, you sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy. I think I'd do it. Okay, <laughs> he wins. <laughs> It's like they show me BJ, and this will be the one that's always doing this with the eyes and screaming and shit. Like they will view you as like that. I just want to be seen. Why I you saying that? Doing too much. I don't want to be with you no more. How did you post it? Cause I'm single. Cause you want attention. I have to find myself. You should have found yourself before you came my way. Well, I don't. I don't. Why can't you just let me go? I don't want to have to fight you. I don't. Fight me because I want to be single. You the the fact is, I'm single and I'm done and I'm not finna explain myself. Bye. What? I don't get. Well, they would view you like if I was describing you as a celebrity, as a partner, romantically. Um, they would view you as like, like Gabrielle Union in the way. Like they would view you as Gabrielle, or they would view you like Beyonce and Jay Z. They would view you as Beyonce. Like I feel like it's like that though. Like even though Jay Z make more money than Beyonce, they still would look at like Beyonce as the winner because it's Beyonce. Like Beyonce don't have to work, but she chooses to, and she's a, like she's a rec forced to be reckoned with, and people love it about you. It's like you are someone who's able to hang with the best of them, and you also somebody they can bring around. Like men romantically, they feel like they can bring around their friends and their family. Like you're a lover and a friend, and they love that about you. They do feel like you're prideful though. So they might feel like you're a little bit too aggressive or masculine. Okay, some of you guys, you need to stop putting your hands on men. Seen what happens when people hold in their aggression for too long. Don't forget, I was in that elevator with Jay-Z. Hey, could you have your guy hit two? I gotta get down to the business center to print out my boarding pass. Oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room key. That's who it resonates with. But I feel like you're somebody that cuts people off easy and you move on fast, okay? They can feel like you're emotional, though. And then it's like you do a whole lot when you deepen your emotions and then it's like nothing. It's like when you like somebody, you could be very dramatic and do the most to go to war for a relationship. But when you decide that you're dealing with that person, you cut them off in entirety. But other people can tell you leave somebody alone for a long time. You won't leave until you're ready to leave. 
that's how men view you in a romantic connection. How do men view Kyle too in their platonic connections? Ooh wee. Yeah. Just abundant, attractive. Um like just having everything like that you need, they view you as somebody that I almost thought this was Oshun. It's like just divine feminine energy. Even if you're not a female or woman, you don't have to identify as that. Um, they just view you as somebody that had, I don't know, I'm all aboard the choo-choo train. I don't know. Everybody had a crush on her when they was a kid. Hell, I had a crush on her when I was a kid. And like, they view you as somebody that's very, like, attractive, but they shouldn't find you to be attractive. That's how men view you, period. In all platonic conditions, they view you as somebody that they find to be attractive that they shouldn't find to be attractive. They also find you to be somebody that's very good at your job, feel like you're very creative, and they feel like you just warm everybody up. You feel like a hug to everybody. Like, you bring people together. And there's a lot of energy surrounding, like sharing is caring. Like you're very nurturing and giving. You have a lot and you give. And like, that's what brings you fulfillment. And they notice that about you. And they view you as somebody that's like, and she got a machete behind her. As sweet as you are, you get, you get crazy. I... Well, I'm sorry. What's, what's good? Um, uh, we, we were checking in the hotel and we like, what the fuck is going, listen. Girls came up to find us Hold up! Cause I'ma tell you, if I come over there, everybody gonna catch a fade. Do you hear me? All the way down from you, all the way down to the photographer, all y'all. I'm trying to tell you what happened. Alex, I'm not to be fucked with. I've been fucked with enough. Do you get it? Yeah, but it wasn't me, though. I'm trying... It was strangers. What the fuck is going on? Because I'm about to jog over there, bitch. I ain't that far. And I ain't coming by myself. You know what I mean? I'm trying to tell you what happened. What? Get crazy. I, I get crazy. <laughs> How do men view Kyle 2 and their romantic connections? Naked. Vulnerable. You might bury your soul to people. And that might be why you put your hands on people because it's like, I told you everything I've been through. Not for you to do the same shit. It's kind of giving it. They've even vulnerable. If you are a female pussy, wet, like, water park ain't nothing. Like, uh, like a squeegee ain't got shit on you. Like, bitch, ain't no sponge on this earth absorbing enough. It's just giving. Like, you could have your plan in that pussy. It's just giving what he's a gay. Period. Like, period. Now, yeah, period. This is what it's giving. <laughs> um, if not that, if you're not a female, I feel like people view you as vulnerable when you open up and run to connections. Like, you probably you probably take a while to open up, but once you're there, you're completely vulnerable. You're very sensitive. They feel you as sensitive. They also view you as somebody that's a little bit jealous. They view you as somebody that, uh, I don't know if you like, I don't know. Somebody that shows your skin. They possibly feel like you expose yourself to yourself too much. Your partners are probably possessive of you and they probably feel like you dress too risque. They also feel like you got a grandma spirit. So you might be somebody, you might have like an old soul. I mean, how do men view Pal 2 and their romantic connections? Just as I said, said the grandma card came out. The na it's a Nana on the card, literally. So I can't make this up. On Valley Day, we have harvest. So yeah, they just view you as somebody's abundant, somebody that just don't take no shit. Um, somebody that speak their mind, okay? And you probably voice when you don't like people, even in their face, you just don't care. And they view you as somebody that's just very blunt, generally speaking. <laughs> so let's see how the man on your mind views you, Pastor. How does a man on Pastor's mind view Pastor? Intelligent, very intelligent. How does a man on pal to his mind view pal to? They are attracted to you. They think that you go out with everything that you want. They think you have a very attractive face. Um, they, I feel like somebody that is, they view you as, they like you. This person is attracted to you. Whether you're attracted to them or not, who gives a fuck? But they're attracted to you because it's already came out. 
they feel like that you're in a good season where you're doing a lot and you're executing things very well. You're going after your dreams. They see that and they view you as somebody that's uh, finally figured out their sense of style. They finally figured out their path. Finally, like, yeah, like giving and receiving and worthiness. Finally figured out their worth. If you feel like that you're someone that uh, this man on your mind feels like you finally came into some confidence, okay? And you're finally in the energy to where you're receiving your blessings. They feel like you're lucky. They don't feel like you're lacking anything, okay? They also feel that you are in a um, generous mode, that you're going back and you're kind of testing people's spirits, and that you're in an energy to where you're protecting your peace, okay? With the Mayotte card, okay? Um, there's a lot of energy surrounding, like, I'm going to see if you're worthy enough to be in my energy. I have to test your spirit. They feel, this person feels you are someone that's very intuitive. You know your value, you know your worth, and you're only going after things that are pouring into you. With the, um, a teeth card, they feel like that you're somebody that you could be a fire sign or um, we could be. All, we have all songs on the table. But they feel like that you're someone that's very attractive. They are sexually attracted to you. They are very sexually attracted to you, but they're also attracted to you because of your confidence that you exude. You have a genese qua about you. They also feel like you're very intelligent. They learn a lot from you. How does the person on Power 2's mind, the men on Power 2's mind, view Power 2? told you resilient bold and sassy um and we also have reflection kindness and compassion the water element they do have emotions for you they feel like that you they view you as someone that's very sweet um but don't push this person so someone that would give their last but don't don't push your fucking luck with this person okay this person views you as somebody that um um gets down to the bottom of things you ask a lot of questions and you can't be lied to i'm like no i hate people lie Okay, because we got the men in black on the bottom of the deck. This person could also be you as a, they could be a little bit scared of you because you could have some hidden knowledge. Um, this person could feel like that uh, they could view you as someone that has access to information other people don't have. Because this person has elf ears. So it's like um, an energy surround. This person feels like that you have some sort of uh, spiritual connection that allows you to hear and see things that other people can't. They feel like you're very sensitive to energy. They view you as someone that's very sensitive in general though. They view you as somebody that's very nice, very kind, very, very sweet. Uh, but you know when to put those guards up. So you don't initially meet people with boundaries. Those boundaries are put up when necessary. That's how this person particularly views you. How does a man on power to his mind view power to? Okay. Um, someone that possibly should have more of a following on social media than what they do. Someone that should be more acknowledged more on social media. Somebody that don't take... Uh, somebody that feels this person probably feels like if you were to post more on social media that you would have more clout somebody that should be famous or somebody that um doesn't put themselves out there somebody they want to talk to more but there isn't as much communication between you guys clarify the seven of pentacles mm. the magician in reverse this person feels like you're not trying to communicate with this person like this person feels as though like talking to them is not a priority of yours <laughs> Uh, they feel like you watch them, but you're not impressed. They feel like you they don't impress you. They feel like that um, you have other things that aren't a priority on your mind. How does the person on how does the man on Pow Two's mind view Pow Two? Someone that they have a crush on that goes unnoticed kinda. Like with the ace of cups in reverse. Click on ace of cups. They kind of feel like that you kind of like turned them down or friends on them. I just feel like you're holding back. Okay, because you found something out. Okay. How does the man on Pow Two's mind view Pow Two? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Cardi B. Okay, so this person views you as somebody that is, again, like, you're probably, like, single, living your life. Um, they view you as somebody that is very attractive. They view you as somebody that's very talented, very performative. Like, they, they feel like you're very, like, good with people. They feel like you're, you're a personality, okay? You feel like that you're someone that, um... They view you as somebody that's very freaky. They view you as somebody that's done a lot to keep them or to attract them. They feel like that you're someone that keeps them interested. 
35, who, how does this person view uh, to the man or the line? That's a lot, but I'll take it. A boss, gangster boo, a cash doll. Uh, put it on the floor. Somebody that can drop a bag or something and not care. They view you as somebody that doesn't have money problems or worries. They view you as somebody that, um, I don't know. Like you're more focused on your career and love will come when it's supposed to come. But they feel like you're somebody that has play. Like somebody that can have who they want. All of these are like female bosses who get play. You know, we also have Saweetie. Like, come on now, sexy, graceful, not stressed about you. I ain't think about you. Middle fingers up. Oh my God, just I said that. Beyonce. Didn't I? Y'all, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. <laughs> Wave them in this place. Someone, boy, bye. Like, I ain't sorry the fuck. It's giving that funny. And then y'all have Nikki again. This person just feel like you're the total package. Honestly, they do. And you're mad at them. <laughs> so this will be your reading pal too. I love you guys. See you in the back and around. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Take a look inside your heart. Is there any room for me? I won't have to hold my breath till you get down on my knee. Because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough. Did you ever fool me? Would you ever picture us? Every time I pull my hair up, it's me out of fear. And one day you disappeared Cause what's the point of crying? It was never even enough Did you ever want me? Was I ever good enough? Put, put boys away Put boys away He doesn't see ya You're not looking at me right Put boys away Put boys away